Okay, uh, hello everyone, I'm Sean Cheek and welcome to my Easy Piano Lessons. Uh, this is part one of a song by Billy Joel called uh, Summer, Summer Highland Falls, I believe. <laughs> but uh, someone hired me to do it as a special request. Uh, if you'd like to, uh, to do that as well uh, on an approved song, just uh, send me an email to easypianolessons at yahoo.com. And here's the website, www.webpianoteacher.com, where you'll find, uh, you'll find uh, right now about 750 videos of uh, the completions of uh, uh, most of the songs on uh, my YouTube channel, and mm -hmm. also my 50 uh, lesson series on just uh, playing by ear from the ground up. Uh, if you're interested in that, you can check that out. Uh, also have a bunch of Christmas songs on there, uh, ragtime stuff. I uh, got a, a few neat requests coming up. Uh, got a, uh, someone hired me to do a, a rag. Uh, it's not Scott Joplin rag, it's a, a different composer, but it's, it's really cool. That'll be up uh, pretty soon. Also Metallica, some on Metallica. Uh, nothing Else Matters, which sounds really cool on piano. So I uh, got those coming up. <clears throat> uh, let's start here with the uh, right hand. And we're going to have middle C, and then down to F with the thumb, and then back to middle C, and then up to this higher F. Now you want to get your hand in position, okay, before you start. So you have F, C, F. So you're in that position already, and then you can play these C, F, C, F. Then we're going to go back down to the low F, then up to C, and then up to F, back down to the low F. So see all these 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, these 8 notes are just F, C, F. It's all the same rhythm. You know, 16th notes there, so, uh, and you can hold the pedal. Um, let's go ahead with the right hand here. Still in the same position, we're just going to play an E right here with a fourth finger, with your ring finger, up to an F, back down to an E, down to middle C, back down to the lower F, back up to the higher F, back down to the low F, and then middle C. And I have a line there over the C because you're going to accent and hold that note out. You know, give that one a little more punch. And then I'll put this F in parentheses because it's really soft. Uh, I almost don't hear it on the recording, but I, I think it, it needs to go there. So F on the thumb here. And then B flat. Hold that one out a little bit. A little more punch on that because of the line. Uh, there's B flat. And then down to the low F. High F. Down to the low F. See, everything I've played has been in this one hand position here. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and finish out the line here. B flat D, so B flat to D. Put a little curved line because you need to bring that out. Bum bum, bring it out a little more than the rest of the notes. Bum bum, back down to low F, and then C B flat. Bring that out a little more. Bum bum, down to the low F, up to the high F, back down to the low F. And I have a little line there on the F, so bring that out. So bring this one, this one, these two, these two, and that F out a little more. And everything's just 16th notes, okay? So you're in this one position here on the piano, and you can play the whole thing. Let me do it slowly. Okay, and of course faster. Okay, so uh, going faster will help it a lot. Let's go ahead and put the left hand in there. We have a low F down here. Here's middle C, here's the next C. Here's the low F we want with the C above that together. And we're going to move to the right up to an A fifth. So A and E together. And then to the left down to G and D together. And we're going to come back up here to B flat and F together. And you're just going to play that in appropriate spaces. You play left hand and right hand together right here. Right here. F kind of soft on the right hand. Together there. So that F and B flat go with that middle C there. Okay, the little faster both hands on this first line. still in that same place, D, C, B flat, and then we're going to have G, so we're going to move to the right a little bit with the right hand to a G octave, so G, middle C, and then a higher G, back down to the lower G, and then F, E, D, C, so bum, 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 okay, then 
back up to the higher G, back down to the lower G, middle C. Now here it's a little different. F E C F. Bum, 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 bum. Okay, and then C D. Have a little curved line, so you want to bring that out. Bum, bum. Then low F, high F, low F. Okay, and then B flat C D, bring it out. Alright, so starting here we have. And this is really a weird place to start the line. Really, this is this is the new measure. This D C B flat actually would kind of go with this part over here. Bum, 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 bum. Now there's nothing here on the right hand right here, okay? You're gonna play a left hand note, but there's no right hand, and there's just one sixteenth rest there. So the right hand's playing every sixteenth note beat except right here. You don't play anything on the right hand there. Uh, the left hand will play there though. There. Left hand's on an A octave, I mean an A uh, fifth there, A and E together, okay? And then we're going to have B flat, a single B flat, and then up to a single C. Okay, now I'm just going off the recording, what I heard on the, the uh, recording, so I'm not, I never use sheets or anything, I just listen and uh, get as close as I can to what the artist is playing. Uh, and I just hear a single B flat and a single C there. And then here we're going to have a B flat and F together. Okay? So if you start here, hands together. Together there. Now this C and B flat are together. It sounds bad when you go slow, but it'll sound fine when you go faster. And then up to C. Okay, so boom, boom. So it goes together, left, right. time. Let me go through the whole thing at kind of a medium slow tempo. Okay, here we go. And pay real close attention to the accents, how loudly you're playing, the balance between everything uh, that is really important um, on the accents on the right hand. So when you're doing this, I'm going to really pay attention to that uh, to the accents because uh, you know it won't quite sound right unless you do it that way. And you definitely need to have the pedal down. You want to change it pretty much every time the left hand changes. Every time the left hand changes is a good indicator usually on anything uh, when to change the pedal because that's when the chord changes. Uh, anyway, so here's part one. Part uh, two and three will be uh, on the website either today or tomorrow pretty soon. And I uh, hope you guys enjoy it.